Here's your friendly reminder for the year 2020. How often do recounts actually change an election? In a 15 year, in a 15 year period of time with 4,687 races, with an average shift occurring if you did the 27 recounts that happened in 15 years. Most of these are automatic recounts. They have to be done. Or 0.6% or 1 in 176 occurrences. They had an average vote shift of about 200 votes each time. Only three of these 4,687 races changed. That's a 1 in 1,500 chance or 0.064% chance of having a change. Okay, you can go for it if you're desperate. But the vote differential was below 200 votes or below 500 votes. And I want you to notice something here. <clears throat> the 2008 Senate, Al Franken won by 312 votes. He would have lost if the recount hadn't been automatically done. In 2004, the governor race showed a differential of 40 votes. So they didn't feel comfortable with that. So they all agreed to do it and paid for it. And Christine Grigori won uh, by 133 votes. And in 2006, the state auditor position was up for grabs. And it was a differential of 102 votes after a recount. All three of the individuals that win when you do a recount, either automatic or by requesting it, were Democrats. Now, I don't, un don't know if you understand this. The only time a recount actually showed that someone was unfairly denied a position was when they were a Democrat. And that's from the year 2000 to the year 2015. What are your chances of actually getting away with having a recount going your favor? Number one, it has to be an incredibly tiny amount under 500 votes to win the statewide. This is out of 3 million votes in one case. It has to be bizarrely close before you do the recount request. And even if you do that, even, even in the 27 times it was requested or required by law, it only changed it a smaller number of times. And in those three changes that happened, in all three cases that you can look up, a Democrat one instead of a Republican. Gee, I wonder if it's a sign of systemic uh, uh, vote mishandling by the Republicans. Because the evidence only shows the recounts uh, benefit Democrats when you do it. Um, so anyway, you got, you got Biden winning in a state by 100,000 votes. Not 100 votes or 200 votes, but 100,000 votes or more. But you want a fucking recount. Well, no. What's going on is it's a demand for a recount hoping that it can't be finished and heckling the workers while they do it. Meanwhile, the actual outcome of doing this maneuver almost always gives you more Democrat votes than Republican votes because Republicans try to suppress Democrats a lot more than Democrats ever work on this. That's my conclusion because the only three times that you can find from 2000 to 2015... A recount did not result in a Republican getting elected. It resulted in a Democrat. If there hadn't been an automatic ruling, the 2008 Senate would have gone to a Republican. The auditor in 2006 would have gone to Thomas M. Salmon, <coughs> excuse me, in Vermont. And the governor's race in 2004 would have gone to a Republican if they didn't automatically have to do a count because it was so cur just crazy tiny margins. And I want to point out a couple of peculiarities. In the case of the governor race, one of the people doing the auditing found out that his own ballot had been rejected by human intervention and by the computer system just screwing up. That prompted a fix. That also required that they just go through and just hand count everything, which was a pain in the ass. But yeah, this is I'm uh, taking this from Fair Vote, which is the ultimate source, and also also WCCO CBS Minnesota, because we're talking about this, all right. So when Trump is complaining about Michigan, 
and then using data from Minnesota, by the way, or vice versa. I mean, who knows what they're doing? And they're complaining about a ballot having to be changed because they're going to change it somehow. And the vote count isn't by a couple of hundred votes. It's thousands and thousands. This is a tactic to delay our election to end. This is not going to produce a useful outcome. And this is a way of challenging the state's right to allow people to vote against the will of a president. And I want to remind you again that one of the problems with this is that the outcomes aren't guaranteed to be for Republicans. Again, all of them so far, every time you do a fucking recount, ends up, if you get a change, it's a change in favor of flipping to a Democrat, not something else. These are the three that flipped. And more importantly, <clears throat> all you're doing is creating a delay trying to prevent the vote count from happening. Trump and the others have absolutely made it clear they wanted that done. And the only a couple of places have decided to hold off certifying the vote until all court cases at that date were processed. And all of them have been lost. So we're done. Every state's been flipped the way they are. You're stuck with President Biden. And that's it. And again, if you do a recount, you're just going to end up with more votes for Democrat because those are the ones that get suppressed. The only people practicing any attempt at rigging an election appear to be Republicans if you were just to use this. Now, I don't really believe that, honestly. I do believe that there's an attempt to do that. I do believe a lot of them would say they'd like to do it and even go out of their way to try to sound like they're doing it. But I'm, I'm going to have to say something important here. I don't think Republicans are able to rig an election because I think they're too fucking incompetent. Because in a couple of cases, they requested the recounts here, which is weird. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.